I have for you today the magic bullet of customer service, and if you don't believe me, there it is right there. The magic bullet of, ooh, man, that is hot. Ooh, gotta cool that thing down. You know, some people think that great customer service is a no-brainer. I'm here to tell you that there is more involved. I hope with what I have for you today, you will see results, you will smell success, and you will develop a taste for better customer service. All because of the magic bullet. I have for you, in fact, a one, two, three, four-step process to improve your customer service and create wow. And there you go. And that little trick is available for $49.95 at the end of the presentation. <laughs> I've got kids in college, I need to make a living. Everybody tells you that you need to wow the customer. Have you heard other speakers say that? Have you read books that talk about it? Have you ever noticed they never tell you how to wow? I'm going to tell you how to wow the customer. Now, if I can do that today, is this a worthwhile investment of your time, folks? Yes. Okay, a little more enthusiasm? Yes. yes. Great, and I am glad you are here. Welcome, everyone. My name is Dennis Rosen of Windfluence Solutions. We are here to talk about customer windfluence versus customer service, how to truly wow your customer and make them devoted. Hi, this is Dr. Dennis Rosen, the windfluence expert. I can show your participants how to create devoted customers, improve their sales process, and I'll have them laughing while they learn. You see, the windfluence philosophy emphasizes how sales and service must work together to improve the bottom line. And it places emphasis on meeting customer needs, in particular, their emotional needs. So, we have to do a better job of understanding the customer's emotional needs. What I want to do right now is generate a list of emotional needs that we can discuss. Put them up here on the board, talk about them a little bit, okay? But I'm not going to do it. I want you to do it. So right now, you need to partner up. Turn to the person next to you who looks most needy. <laughs> Take a look around, there's four different I didn't say they are needy, I said they just looked needy. You can be a trio, all right, if they both look needy, you can group together. Needy people do that, they tend to clump. Okay, I'm sure you have a piece of paper in front of you, so what I want you to do is I want you to generate a list of emotional needs. I'm going to give you one minute to do that, and while you're doing that, because I hate silence, I will be singing the William Tell Overture. Ready? Go. Make that list. People like to be treated special. <clears throat> Why? It started when we were little kids, and our parents would say, oh, "You are so special." And then we grew up and found out it's not true. You know, <laughs> like everybody else. So when somebody takes us aside and treats us with status, treats us in a special way, and we have programs to do that, you know, you're a member of the four-star program or the whatever program it happens to be, but to get people to start in that program, you've got to treat them somewhat special to begin with, just so they understand that this is a great place to be. Let me speak to the gentleman for just a second. Gentlemen, how many of us know that not a day should go by without us telling our wives that we love them. How many of us know that? Show of hands, show of hands. Yeah, look at that, even the single guys are raising their hands to help out. Thanks so much, appreciate that. Gentlemen, how many of us know that as a token of that expression of love, at least once a month, we should do something special for our wives and take them out to a special dinner, or bring home some flowers, some candy. Do we know that, gentlemen? Do we? Yes, yes, okay. And gentlemen, how do we know this? They tell us, over and over and over again, they tell us. But do we do it? No. Would we be better off if we did, ladies? Yes, no doubt. Our customer tells us too. But the only time you will ever listen to your customer is if you truly get uncomfortable and start looking for opportunities. Thank you very much for having me this evening. My name is Dennis Rose. It's been an honor to be with you. Thank you. Thank you so much.